want to take a moment and talk about this. This is a very uh, hot topic on the internet right now, and we've discussed this a couple times. Jim Valley, yesterday on the show, brought up the fact that, you know, is, is WWE trying to recreate the history books? Is WWE attempting to modernize their list of the greatest champions of all time? Which they are. And they've been af actively doing this since, I would say, 2016, 2017. Or whenever that universal title came into play. I, I, that was the first time I really heard the conversation about, hey, we need, we need to update the, the legacy here of our titles with newer, uh, up-and-coming acts, uh, you know, modern champions that hold this title for an extended period of time to, you know, kind of re-solidify who are the greatest of all time in this company's history. You know, the conversation goes, it could be, you know, it, it, it's subjective, obviously, right? If you ask one person, it's Shawn Michaels. You ask another one, it's The Rock. Another one is Triple H. Another one is Steve Austin. Another one, obviously, Hulk Hogan. Bruno. The list goes on and on. But I do find this interesting. And Jim brought up an interesting fact. And he said, uh, you know, on his Twitter post, he brought up, could Hulk Hogan, could, could Roman Reigns, I should say, surpass Hogan's first WWE title reign? You know, it's very possible. I think Hogan had it for like 1,400 days or whatever, whatever it was. You know, I'm looking at this list here. And, you know, there is, there is an active effort to have longer title reigns. You're obviously not going to hit 2,800 days like Bruno. That, that, that's, I, I mean, it, that would be uh, insane. I, I mean, you can. You could if now that you got two titles. This guy could have that title forever. And he could surpass Bruno. If that's the plan. With no injuries, no stop, you know, they could do this. But 1,400 days is a lot more realistic. Right now, Roman is at 972 days with the Universal Championship and 391 with the World. So obviously, he has a long way to go with the World title reign, but they're not, they're not counting it. They're counting one as the undisputed Universal blah, 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 blah. Can he hit, is he going to hit 1,000? 100%. Can he hold this title for another 400 days after that for a, a year and, and change? I don't know. But, you know, you got Bruno at 2,800. You got Hogan at 14. You got Backlund at 14. You got Bruno again at 12. Then you got Pedro Morales at 1,027, which he'll pass that. So he'll be number four in the list. Then you got Backlund. And then it goes to CM Punk. So, actually, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It goes to CM Punk. So, very interesting. Can, can he do this? One, two, three, four. Can he be the fourth most longest reign champion? Yeah, can he be fifth? Yeah, he could pass 1,200 days. Can he do 1,400 days? It's going to be interesting to see. But they, they are trying to update the history books, and I understand that. Do I agree with it? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Because these were organic things. It wasn't designed to happen that way. But, you know, when, when the Universal title was created and you had Finn Balor win that title first and you had Kevin Owens hold it, then you had, you know, uh, Goldberg and Lesnar hold those titles. I think there was a conversation that Jericho could have possibly won that title. There's a reason for that. They wanted to mix up legacy acts, well-recognized acts, with the newer, younger talent to kind of show, hey, look, these guys are on the same level. It's the optics of it. 